receive this breakthrough now. Now! In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Now! In the name of Jesus. Hey. Huh? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? What are you doing there? Are you going Huh? Udi Amo. Huh? So I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to go to the camera. She's going to get it. I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to go to the Quoi mm -mm. So I'm going to go to the middle. What are you doing? Huh? I'll put fire in that stomach. Fire! Fire! In the name of Jesus. This lady must get a job as soon as possible. So what are you doing there? Huh? What are you doing there? Huh? What, what are you doing here? Leave me alone. Please. I must leave you. Yes. Huh? Yes. 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 Who are you? Huh? It's none of your business. It's none of my business. Yes. So why are you reaching this lady? Huh? Why are you wishing this leaf? You're wasting my time. Man. You're wasting my time. Leave me why, why are you wishing this lady? Come on, Linda, please. Huh? Come on. Huh? What, why are you wishing this lady? Huh? I stand here now. Come on, Linda, please. Why are you wishing this lady? Okay, so I'm going to sing just so good. But just so good. I'm going to sing just so good. So go and have my way. Just 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 go and have my way. Kwenama. <laughs> Huh? You must leave them today. You want to do that? 
squeeze it, brother. <laughs> You're going no. to leave them today. You hear me? No. Squeeze. I can't. Huh? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, no ways. No ways. Yeah, As long as the demon is still saying no ways, you squeeze. Yeah, Huh? Yeah. You are hard. You will leave them. Let them go. You will stand there. You will leave them today. You are wasting my time. You want to leave? Huh? Yes. Squeeze, brother. Squeeze. You will hear the demon say, I want to leave. You want to leave? Huh? Huh? Yes. Leave now. Yes. Leave. You dirty spirit. Leave. Leave! Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is Mulate Longwashing. I come from Pretoria, but originally from Limpopo. The reasons for for me to come here is that uh, on the 31st of December, I was prophesied by Apostle. He said to me that I have a spiritual husband. So since then, I was not comfortable with the situation that he told me about. And then the second time, I was also prophesied in the church whereby Prophet Andres said to me, um, there's a problem with my child. He wanted to pray for my child. So those are the reasons that brought me here. But then above them all, I had my own problems that I was encountering even before I was prophesied by a prophet and recent apostle. I have realized that recently I have um, stagnation in terms of my, my financial status. I've been stuck for quite some time, so that is the reason that made me to come to a one-on-one -on -one today. And I also wanted to know uh, um, God's mind about me. So those are the reasons why I am here today. It has affected me a lot. You know that, you know, um, when you have financial problems in life, everything gets stuck some of the things that you used to do in life you you can't do them as normal i can't <coughs> maintain my kids like i used to do before so though i'm waking but i i'm i'm, I'm facing those kind of challenges of financial stagnation okay the first thing that he he mentioned in one-on-one -on -one, he said to me he's very much worried about my relationship status with my partner and he said am i happy about the relationship and i said yes for now i'm i'm, I'm fine he said to me um i can see that there is a delay between the two of you are you staying together? I said, no, we are in a relationship, but we are not staying together. Uh, reason being that we are not yet married. Then he said, what are the reasons for you not to get married? And I said, I am not sure because my partner is the one who's supposed to decide to marry me. So he said to me, maybe I must call him so that he can pray for me and him together and he also mentioned exactly the same prophecy that i got from prophet that i i have a spiritual husband of which i was prophesied on the 31st that i have a spiritual husband 
that uh, makes me to get some delays in some of the things in my life. So he also mentioned that he also also mentioned the fact that <coughs> I also have a loan that I'm struggling with. So I told him, yes, I have a loan, though it's not much, it's not much of a loan, but it makes me to regress in life. So he said he's going to pray for me and then that loan will, uh, the, the problem of loan will be resolved very soon. So those are the prophecies that I got from Prophet Andres. I'm very happy and I feel like everything that brought me here is going to be resolved. And he also promised, he also mentioned that whatever that he prayed for today, that whatever demon that was uh, uh, attacking me and my partner is going to be, is going to be a, um, <laughs> what is going to do to, to go. Yeah, I, would, I would encourage everyone at home, whoever that is um, facing problems like mine or any other problem in life, Please come to Charis so that you can get uh, deliverance, you can get healing that you need.